There you are. So you might be thinking, what's wrong with me owning whatever I produce for the rest of my life plus 70 years? Well, here's the problem. The system's unfair. How do I know? Let's compare it to the existing, to existing other forms of intellectual property. The patent. You register with the government your idea. You get a patent for 20 years. That's it. Trademarks even less. But a copyright, the rest of your life, and 70 years. Automatically, for everyone, everything you create. What's the problem in that? Well, first of all, being such an unfair amount of time causes people to operate in society by what they believe to be fair, which every individual decides for themselves. This, in turn, causes the big media companies to start suing their own customers. They sue little old ladies and children. It makes no sense. And then, companies that support public expression, companies like YouTube and MySpace and even Napster end up getting sued because they're in the middle. Now even your ISP might be in trouble. But another thing that, another problem that's caused by this is the automaticness of it. Let's say you're making a video and you come across a clip that's perfect to explain your idea. Well, if it doesn't have an author listed, how can you find them? It's not registered with the government. They don't know who it is. You don't know if they meant it to be in the public domain. So if you use it, you run the risk of ending up getting sued and losing, if your work was for profit, all the profits of your work or worse. <sighs> Orphan works are a problem. But there's another problem with the copyright system. It allows copyright owners, these publishing companies, to censor what's done with the work. And on top of that, it allows them to censor history itself. There's some videos that talk about this, talk about how broken the system is. Let's, uh, let's see if some other people agree with me. Ah, you're back. There's a actually a couple of people out there, or groups of people, they're trying to actually make some sense of this. Try to fix the brokenness of the system. Like there's cc.org, which creates a bunch of licenses that lets creators of content communicate with the general public uh, what they would and would not allow um, their work to be used in, or for whatever purpose, or if they want a tributation. Um, this really helps to free up the market or free up the idea, the realm of ideas because it lets people know that they can build on something. That here's an idea and I want people to build on this and someone builds on it and someone builds on it. Really helps. Another thing that people are doing is um, they're trying to form a consensus in the industry. What is fair use? I haven't talked much about fair use, but fair use is the loopholes in the rights of the, of the copyright owners. Uh, parody uh, is fair use. You can make a parody of something. You can talk critically about something and use copyrighted material to talk about it. You can make political commentary and use copyrighted material to do that. 
Um, these are things that, uh, that That was close. I better get going. Holy crud. He really went to town out here, didn't he? Funny thing is, if we don't get copyright under control, this is what the future landscape could look like, intellectually. Well, I guess there we have it. We can uh, fix the system, or this, but uh, till next time, I'll leave you with a little bit more upbeat video. Wow, I don't believe it.